Kelmacud Croaks versus Glen, Derry versus Dublin, Ulster versus Leinster. The final of last year's Club All Ireland, the semi final this year, despite these two sides, giants of club football in Ireland, uh, both being the front runners of winning the Club All Ireland uh, title this year, only one of them will be able to make the final, the other crashing out today in Newry. A big, big match here, of course. We all remember last time I had a Kilmacud v Glen, which I was at a Crow Park. There was plenty of drama entertainment um, brilliant quality game and overall an amazing match and I'm expecting the very same here in this one it's going to be an amazing match surely obviously conditions will be poor enough of course with uh, overnight frost and possible fog as well and well it definitely will make for a very very interesting match both teams have good players on Glen's side the likes of Connor Glass for example Donny Tallinn and Emma Bradley and on Kilmica Croaks they've got the likes of Shane Walsh obviously as well as Paul Mannion and Jack McCaffrey so I've done enough talking here for now lads wait, you make us wait for the prediction the winner of this game plays the winner of St Bridges v Castlehaven and I believe at the moment St Bridges of Ross Common as of recording are winning that one so that's enough talking for me I'll see you all then down at Park Esler in Yuri. look at this here about a quarter past three look at the fog the stadium should be on out that direction I can't even see it Big crowds. Where's the floodlights there? You can still barely see the stadium. Yeah, there should be some game. Big crowd as well. Can't even see the pitch from here. But there's a big stand here, of course, at uh, Park Astler. There's a pitch there now, you can see. There's Glenn right here. The ultras out. Brilliant support. Here's our seats for the game then. We've got into the sweet small seat that's standing behind the net. There's a very good crowd over in the main stand, it's full. It's looking pretty packed over there in the other terrace as well. Glen Ultras, of course, there as well. It's got less than 20 minutes of throw in now. I can guarantee good footage from down this side, but the other side, well, just have to wait and see because it'll be a bit of a struggle trying to record down there. 15 minutes to throw in now, and I'm going to give you a prediction here. Um, both sides this year haven't been great, haven't been as good as it happened last year either side, but still have done well enough to get this far. It'll be interesting enough, you know, to see um, who's going to win this one, obviously. Obviously, Glenn for revenge after what happened last year. So it's going to be interesting to see who turns up, and I think that's where the game is going to be decided. I'm going to say here again, number two, I think it'll be a better side in the day. I think I will put in a struggle going forward. Glenn will be brilliant offensively and offensively. I think in the end here, the very last of the straight bit, and they'll be going to poker. They'll be going to be out for the semi final for the defending champions. I expect the semi final. So there's no prediction there. Kilmico or Glenn for MVP. Brilliant support for Glenn. Sammy Van Evans. It's a good run. Oh. So there. Let's go again. Double half, that's the after four minutes. It's got a point apparently.
think they have a free here, Glenn. This will put them through to you. Just have to rely on the crowd. Keep straight. And apparently they've scored it. This is Glenn, they've defended well so far. Look at this. Oh, he's missed it. And the cameraman just kept it in there. Gosh. But they couldn't get it on camera. See a little bit. That's a brilliant score from Shane Walsh. 3-3 after about 18 minutes. need to wake up in the second half if they want any hope of getting through to the final. The winning ticket number of the half draw is ticket number 17776. That's ticket. Everybody in the first half, five points up. Number three's in good. Connor Glass now, Bradley. Malik here with it. Here's the new former GA president, Lauren McCarthy, there. The pilot boys walking in one out. From half time then here in Park Gasler, it's Kilmerka Pro Score, Glen 9 now. I oh, know, haven't really been able to tell how good some Glen scores or how good they've been going forward have been so far due to the bad fogging conditions. I mean, it's like zero degrees, it's absolutely freezing. But I can tell you one thing, Glen, the cold doesn't bother them anyway because they've been by far the better team. I said in the, uh, my prediction, it depends who's going to turn up in this game, who will win. And so far, it's Glen, he's only turned up his kill the cold. I've been pretty poor other than the first five minutes of the match. They've barely threatened Glen at all. And Glen has just been very comfortable in this game. I think here in the second half, though, Crokes definitely will come out better. Uh, I think Glenn still will carry on their good form. But I think Crokes have put themselves, unless they get a goal or two, then the Dubs are definitely going to struggle to get back into this one unless they get a couple of goals. Like. So it's going to be interesting to see what does go on here for the rest of the match. Only time will tell if they guess. They still got to expect Glenn to win this one, regardless of the way Crokes play in the second half. Well, then, that's all for me now. I'll see you all then at the start of the second half. Hopefully this for the second half but it does clear up and we can see the other end of the pitch. But as things stand, it is looking very unlikely. There's the referee and the umpires and all the officials just coming out of there. Connor Lee and that referee. Well, the less about him the better. If you remember the Armavi Monaghan back in June July time. He's coming the coat back. Shane Walsh back out. There you are. Connor Glass leading them out.
Monica wrote there. Okay, the end of the tent. Second off begins. Ooh. Oh, so there. Getting cut off here. Off a goal there, but still probably a smart option. Well, for work. Just got another point. Broadly here. Let's go, Emmy! Oh, yeah! So, two and a half, two and a half minutes left to stop the same. They only need their point. Scenes in Yuri. Kind of cut up a goal. Ooh. There's about a minute left to stop his time. It's one minute left. All over. Come with her, we're in stomp to right. As the push invasion commences, dramatic end of the game. Well, get in, Glenn. Love to see it. Hopefully, they go on to win the All Ireland now. So, lads, there you go then. Glenn are into the Club All Ireland final to take on St Bridges of Ross Comedy by Castlehaven. Down in third as Tipperary earlier today. And the reigning champions, Comical Croaks, are knocked out at the semi final stage now, lads. Despite the fog disrupting most of our game and with Burley, in the end, actually, I mean, we actually didn't actually get to see Kilmacud's best spell of the game and Glenn's best spell of the game. But overall, so from the part we could see, it was a very, very good game. The atmosphere was incredible from both sets of fans and Park Gessler. You've seen, of course, Glenn's goal, which was very, very good. Didn't get to see the two Kilmacud goals in person, however. We lived off the crowd cheers from them ones in the end. But look, you know, very, very good game. Very cold, mind you, as well. So I was very, very happy to get all nice and warm uh, coming home from that game. But look, you know, it's going to be interesting to see now, of course. Glenn nearly threw it away, however, probably would still say they were the better side in the game. I think Kelma could, although they nearly did manage to get something out of that one, uh, probably just gave themselves a bit too much work to do in the second half. And in the end of the day here, lads, Glenn, their brilliant first half paid off and they're through to the all Ireland final in, I think, two weeks' time against some of Ross Common. I tell you what, lads, the Rossies, the team from Ross Common, will not be too bad and definitely will not go down without a fight. However, surely now Glenn have the All Ireland title, one hand at the least, anyway, for now. So that will end it as much day vlog, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Thank you all for the support on the channel once again. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KDFG very, very soon.